Okay, so our kitchen unit, um, we built again using quite a simple frame, um, using these small beams, and we've got them that go all the way around the floor, and then joins onto a long one that goes all the way the length of the van, which means that if there's any front or backwards movement, it's not going anywhere because it's attached to a beam that runs all the way along the bottom, so it's nice and safe. Uh, and then that's also screwed into the wall at the back as well, um, just for extra security. Um, and then on top of our frame, uh, we bought this from b and I think for about 25 quid. Not really sure what it's supposed to be for because most kitchen counters uh, for your home are much wider. So we wanted a narrower one to save space. Um, and we just stumbled across this and it seemed pretty perfect. Um, so just one cut. Uh, we've managed to make these two nice angles, which again, save space walking into the van and sitting on your seat as well, which I think is quite nice. Um, so yeah, that's just screwed from the beams up through the bottom. Uh, and then to make our cupboard doors, we've used a uh, pallet wood that we managed to get from, for free from the local garden centre, which is excellent. Um, and we've just cut strips of wood and then held them together using these little cross beams. Um, and just for fun, we've got these brackets from a junk shop um, in Bristol, which we just think make them look really rustic and cool. They don't really serve a purpose, they just look good. Um, so we've got those on uh, these doors as well for our kitchen. So in here, that's all of our water storage and cleaning equipment. And then in this cupboard here, we've got storage for all of our kitchen things. So pots and pans and cutlery um, and another pan here. And we've managed to cut a very fancy shelf here. So when we open up our fridge, oh, <laughs> it fits nicely in that gap so we can go in there as well and then in this bottom cupboard we've got the proper access for our fridge um, so it's an electric cool box um, runs on 12 volt and 24 volts so if we do an electric hookup uh, it works as well it's pretty good um, keeps things pretty cold so that's nice and we put it on this slide out drawer with these two little handles so when we want to go into our fridge we just pull it out and then we go and then pop it back in again. All right, so that's the fridge. Uh, and then on top of that, we've got some extra shelves here. Um, I'm not going to talk you through how to make a shelf. I'm sure you could probably figure that one out. Uh, and a nice little storage space down there for my friend Henrik the Cactus. Our bottle top collection. And then over here as well, we've got a spice rack that I made myself, which is why it's a little bit wonky. Um, and a netting bag for some vegetable storage, tea towels with a hook, our little bin that we've attached to the wall so it doesn't slide around, I think. <laughs> and then up here we've got more cactuses. Um, we've just glued the pots to this shelf, apparently not very well. Whoops. Um, yeah, I think, is that the kitchen? <laughs>